In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a switchboard or a dashboard for your database so that whenever you open your database, you'd actually, instead of having a view like this and then trying to figure out as to what is where, you'd have more of a nicer view, like a dashboard menu type of system where you'd be able to get to certain tables or certain queries or reports much easier and more user friendly. So how do we create that? Unfortunately, in Access 2016, Microsoft hid that away. So the easiest way to get to the switchboard manager is by simply going here under the Tell Me feature, which is this little box right here telling Microsoft Access what you want to do. And then you so we go here under the Tell Me feature and we type switchboard. And then click on switchboard manager. And it says the switchboard manager was unable to find a valid switchboard for this database. Would you like to create one? And that is great because that's what we want to do. So you click on yes. And then it's going to give us a default switchboard. So once it opens the default switchboard here, we click on edit. And then we want to add new items to this switchboard. Then we click on new. And then here is um, one of the options or one of the menus that we can define. So let's say we wanted to update customer records. And here we go under the command Then we need to tell the system as to what we want to do. In our case, we want to open a form either in add mode or edit mode. So in our case, we want to update existing records. So we want to choose edit mode. And then we go to the form that we want to be editing. So we go under here and we choose the customer form and then click OK. Another option. So we click here on new and we choose add new customer. And then go under the switchboard, click on the form for open form in add mode. And then we go over here under customer's form as well. So now we have two of them. Then we add another command that we want as part of our dashboard. We click on new and then we let's say we want to see the contacts by date. Do we want to open a report? So you can either uh, open uh, forms or reports in this case or macros. So here we'll click on open a report and we'll change this, let's say contacts by date. And then you click on open report and then you choose a report that you want to run. Click OK. And you can keep on adding more items like this as well. So you could go here and choose Then you can also choose a new item here, return, because you want to navigate back home. You choose go to the switchboard, and then the switchboard that you want to go is the default switchboard. So I close the main switchboard. Now I can go and create additional switchboard pages as well. So in this case, I want a switchboard just called reports. Click OK. And now I go into the report switchboard. I create new to add a new item. Then I edit. Then I edit the report, the switchboard, and I add a new item there. So let's say I want in there uh, view customers. And then open a report. Pick the report that you want. And so and then keep on adding whatever components you have. Because sometimes in a database, you'd have hundreds of reports and hundreds of queries and such. And in this stuff here on the left, it could get very messy. So the switchboard it actually helps you categorize what you want in the order that you want them presented. Then whenever you create another switchboard, it's also important to create here a return to the main switchboard option as well. So return home. And then you want to go to the switchboard and you want to choose which switchboard you want to go to. Click OK and then close this stuff. And then close it again. 
Now, whenever you define the switchboard, you also have to do one more thing in order to tell Microsoft Access and the database, so whenever it opens, which form to open. So in this case, we need to go to do that. We need to go under the file menu. We go here under options. Then we go under the current database. And then over here where it says display, right here, we want to choose to display. Whenever you open the database, you want to choose to display the switchboard. Then you click OK. And then it says we need to close the database for this to take effect. So we'll need to exit the database. And now notice it presents me with the main switchboard here. Of course, we could change the colors. We could make this fancier and a lot of stuff as well. Typically, you can hide all this other stuff here on the left and uh, make it so it opens like this. So basically, if you wanted to add a new customer, you could click on add new customer. And now notice it takes you to your customer uh, to add the new customer. If I wanted to view the contracts by date range, so notice it's going to prompt me for the contracts. And it's going to play me the report content that I had requested. I could review also the customer report if I needed to. And there it is with a single click. So that's how you create the switchboard items here. If you wanted to change the colors and all that type of stuff, you can simply go here under view and then under either design view or the layout view, you can change the theme to something more appealing to you. And you could add more controls and you could add more text in here as well. When you're ready and done, you could put a logo if you'd prefer and all that type of stuff. But basically, this is a mechanism for your staff and yourself to be able to access this and in a user friendly way. If you wanted that switchboard manager tool all the time, you can either use the quick the tell me feature over here, or you could actually go ahead and add it over here under the quick access toolbar, you can go and choose more commands and then choose to show all the commands and then scroll down here to switchboard somewhere, switchboard manager, and then you add it to the right. Then click OK. And it's going to show up here on the quick access toolbar on the very top. So that will display you your main switchboard where you can make edits and change stuff if you needed to do that.